bad people who do heavy metal people. Green people, crab people who do heavy metal people. Green people, crab people who do heavy metal people. This is the Steamroller 2015 number two scenario called Two Fronts. There is Kill Box. You need five points to win. You get one for dominating your close zone, one for controlling the far zone, and two for dominating it. Uh, you can't do either of those, though, until you destroy the enemy objective. And if you do so, that's another control point. Hey there guys, this is Malorian, and this will be one of the rare 35 point ball reports on my channel. Uh, normally I do 50s, but we have a couple of 35 point tournaments coming up, so get a little practice in that. Plus, I just finally got in all my Cephalix. I was busy putting it together, priming it, getting on the arcs, and this will be my first game with them. And this is really good because with uh, Thexus here and his tier, this is going to be a really interesting list where I used to have things coming from all over the place. Uh, he has such board control between Rampager, TK, and his feet. And it, it just really is a really cool list with lots of models. Um, actually, all I do to go from my 50 point to 35 is I drop from tier 4 to tier 3 because I drop the two units of Overlords and also the dominated Press Gangers. But yeah, really looking forward to trying this out. Over on this side over here is going to be Siege. I'm up against my buddy Jack here. And this is going to be one where, okay, I have to keep in mind that he can really shoot me well and kill a lot of stuff. So I need to get in there. I need a swarm. I don't have an answer for the storm wall, but I just want to try and keep the storm wall out of the zone and focus on scenario. Uh, another thing too is he was just using the model for P Iris because it was painted, but it's actually going to be Epic Iris. Alright, so otherwise the board is set up here. I also want to say that I screwed up on my drudges. Uh, I played them right, but the uh, I, I mixed up the models. So the there's two types of these drudges. Some have the weapons on their hands, the other ones are gloves. Uh, the ones who are coming on ambush should have the weapon hands, and I just swapped them. So I did the rules right, I just swapped the models. But either way, uh, what's going to happen here is I'm just planning to run up there, get in his face. Uh, this is actually after my first turn already. And what I've done here is I just got up deceleration, I charged up. And really, the great thing with this list is I can feel like I can be very aggressive with Texas because if he shoots me, everything I just pass off to the monstrosity. So... I'm feeling really safe about this, and even though it could do a lot of damage to me, once those ambushers come in, I'll be feeling even better. Alright, so at the end of his turn, uh, this picture here is showing after his turn, after my ambushers, but before I went. But anyway, uh, basically his Tempest Blazers go to the far left flank, and I say, well, okay, I'm a nice guy, I'm going to remind you, don't do that. Because I have all these guys coming in, be a little bit more safe, or else, I mean, I would love to just kill 10 points off of you for free, but I'd rather have it being a more, you know, representative game. So he chains that up, goes more to the center. Uh, one of the blazers is up there just to kind of get in my way. Uh, otherwise, the storm wall goes up, puts up some covering fire and stuff like this. Uh, he also, <laughs> no real reason for this. I think he's just trying to cast spells. But he puts up here like Mage Sight and also puts up there the uh, Foxhole and stuff like that. Those ones aren't really doing anything. Um, I think he just did it just because, hey, I have the focus, why not? Maybe they'll be uh, used later on. But uh, yeah, this is the end of his turn. Didn't kill any of my stuff. And then my ambushers come on. So the way it is here, I think maybe after I use my feet, I can get onto two of his blazers. Uh, plus, of course, the one up here in the front. My mind's uh, benders can go after that one. But really, my plan here is just to try and kill as many of those blazers as possible and then just start getting up the field. All right, so with my feet, I got to move one of the rangers into the covering fire. That was fun. Uh, otherwise, like I said, just kind of move the other uh, Tempest Blazers up and across. Uh, I was also went and I used my entire stack to do two boosted hex blasts to kill off two of the blazers there. Uh, the mine benders went and killed one. They passed their command test. 
Uh, I got charges into one of the other blazers with the mind slavers, uh, but the other one I just ran into engaged, missed the attack. Uh, otherwise, the ambushers on the right are running up. Everything is just really running up. So everything is in his face. Uh, really, it looks really dangerous for where I am right now with uh, Texas. But again, if he tries going after me, I'll pass everything over. And in the end, even though he could try and kill my monstrosity first, even if he does that, he's going to have to dedicate so much that then he won't have enough to kill Thexus. So I'm feeling really safe. So he actually considers going for the assassination for a while, but it, it's just not going to work. Uh, he thinks about maybe trying to slam me back, uh, me being the monstrosity, so I can't do anything there. But that would be a big investment. Uh, there's a lot of questions about the angle, and of course I'll be slowed down by the woods. And it just wasn't really worth the risk. So he decides to go for more attrition. And he decides the left flank is not going well, he's going to go over to the right flank. So really, the blazers... Just move out of the way, get some shots off. Uh, he's really trying to kill off a lot of these Risen. Uh, otherwise, yeah, he just kind of shifts over here to the right. So at this point here, that means I am good to start going on to this left zone, start getting some control points. I could destroy his objective. And again, I just want to destroy the rest of these Blazers and just surround him. So that's what I do. Uh, Thexus basically comes over, does two more boosted uh, Hex Blasts, and is able to kill off the Blazers there. Uh, actually, no, he only had to kill one Blazer. Uh, Alexia was able to charge in, kill one Blazer and the Squire. So I had to use all my Risen to do that, but well worth it. Getting all those guys off the table, fantastic. Uh, the left unit there charged in to Reinhold. Failed to hit with a big combine, whatever, no big deal. And otherwise, I'm really just getting into his face. I don't really care about killing anything else. I'm just getting up there and piling on. Uh, clearly, I went and I destroyed his objective. So I'm going to be now at two control points. But he's really not in a good spot right now. So on his turn here, he comes over and he tries to move over Reinhold. Reinhold dies to a free strike. Uh, he thinks about killing Alexia, but he kills the Dominator instead, and so she automatically fails her command test. Uh, kills a whole bunch of models here on the right. You can see my right flank really, really whittled down now, but that's really fine. Uh, I'm now at three control points, and uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep on doing my thing. So on my turn, I believe I still get the Risen with Alexia, even though... You know, she was fleeing. It doesn't seem to say that I don't get them. So correct me if I screwed that up. But otherwise, it didn't matter anyway. Uh, Thexus is now just going to be doing deceleration, going behind the forest, saying, yeah, now I took assassination off the table. I'm going to dominate for one more. And otherwise, I just wanted to jam. So whether it's the Risen in their face or the remainder of my units on the right, it's just guys over there and so many here on the left that you just can't get anything into the zone. You know, maybe you can get a pod in there or something like that, but I can just destroy it on my turn. So on his turn, he kind of comes over and he kills a lot of guys, and then he kind of realizes, yeah, this just isn't going to work, and then kind of shakes my hand and says, yeah, there, there you go. He can pop his feet, he can kill my warden, my monstrosity, but it really doesn't matter at all. So there you go, uh, a win by scenario for Texas, and I think it only gets better. I mean, when I'm at 50 points, the press gangers are in there, so that kind of gap I had in the middle field with no AD, they'd fill that in, and I'm just going to have dudes everywhere. So again, really excited to play this list. I've had a couple of other builds of mine too. I mean, there's not a lot of different models you could take, but for example, I could always try something where I drop a unit of overlords and I drop the, the press gangers and I throw in the cutthroats. I think that would actually be really good as well for the assassination angle as well. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you later. Bye.